Welcome to my educative channel. Today I'm going to talk about the importance between lower eyelid and cheek or malar area. This is a patient that comes to my office looking for a lower and upper eyelid procedure that he saw in my educative videos that I performed a unique technique in the world that I, I treat the periorbital rejuvenation without skin resection. You can see here, this is not an excess of the skin of the upper eyelid, this is an ectosis of the, of the eyebrow. I, I taught the patient if he wants to improve the size of the view, he wants to improve the aesthetic of the upper eyelid, he need a forehead lift. And also, if he want to improve the lower eyelid, he need a voluminization of the malar area or the cheek area. Because here, the patient have lower eyelid fat pad, but also have a tear through a lack of volumination of the malar area in this area, the distance from the tarsal to here is very long, the lower lid, ch lower lid cheek junction is here, it's very long, and I told him he need almost a volumization of this area. But like many men or women, they think this is going to change the, the face. They think they are looking unnatural. Then the patient, per, I perform only upper and lower eyelid without skin resection. Here uh, you can see my stab incision here. I do not remove skin in this area. Just is the laser improvement, transcansentable nephroplasty with lower lid. And this is the patient several months or years after. The patient I performed in this moment only removed the lower lid fat pad with lower energy of carbon dioxide laser because it's a phototype 4 and this patient is going to have dark hyperpigmentation in this area and the patient solicited me, asked me to use lower energy of carbon dioxide laser just only to improve a little bit of the skin but no so energy that can produce a transitory hyperpigmentation. And you can see some wrinkles here because the patient decided to have it to avoid a little transitory hyperpigmentation. And this photo is nearly two, three years after when the patient come back again to solicit me, to ask me to volumize the malar area and the cheek area as I told him in the moment of the blepharoplasty. But it's not important to make fillers in the same time of the blepharoplasty. You can do later, you can do before, you can do during, but the importance is the aesthetic performance of the lower elite is r related with the volumization of the malar area. If yeah, this patient I can perform a filler here, the result is mediocre. It's 5%, 6%, it's not 10%. And this is the result after the volumization of the area. You can see the tear through, you can see the nice of, of the malar area, the cheek area, you can see the lower elite cheek junction is here but it is here the, the the lower elite was shortening very important and the aesthetic you can see 
nice woman, nice man. You can see the lower eyelid is very short. And this is a very important, not only do not have a lower eyelid fat pad or only wrinkles, you, the shortening of the lower eyelid is very important. And you, you don't get just only using carbon dioxide laser, it's very important the volumization. And this is a very wonderful result. This patient have wrinkles, but I use very low energy. And here you can see that the tear through the lack of volumization. You can see here the lower lead cheek junction is here. And here you can now notice. This is a very nice result. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. The important thing of this presentation that there, there is a relationship between the upper eyelid and the eyebrow. If the eyebrow has ptosis, generally you have to pick up the eyebrow. And if you have no volume in the malar area, you must restore the, the volume. Sometimes the lack of volume of the malar area is to produce for the aging process, because in the aging process you lost volume in the malar area. But sometimes it's a racial problem, it's a genetic problem. You can see young girls or young men with a lack of volume in this area. Then also in these young people uh, it's needed to volumize naturally the malar area. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.